Howdy fellas, uh, Mayor Curtis here again. Uh, over the last few days or week or something like that, I've been doing uh, my knife reviews. <coughs> Different knives I have that I've had for a while that I've used and actually, you know, field tested, put it that way. Uh, today is another one of my trackers I've got a few of these I got some wood cut here I'm actually gonna make me and the family some some dinner outside tonight doing steaks and uh, greens and probably like a potato stew or potato soup one of the two I ain't decided yet but definitely gonna make something to do with some potatoes I love potatoes but uh <laughs> getting off topic here this is um I think it's Poshlin I got this knife five six years ago I'm thinking it's been a while I've used and abused this knife a lot too um, I've had this this knife in like some really wet conditions to see how good the Damascus would hold up and so far it's done extremely well <clears throat> this is the first tracker I, I, I bought I'm trying to remember for sure but yeah this is the first tracker I've ever owned and I'm still gonna get a tops eventually when I become you know more financially set with it but a lot of people told me bad things about the trackers before one of the reasons I never bought one before because like you know what I'm I'm gonna listen to these guys blah 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 they probably know what they're talking about and I'm glad I got out of that stage in my life and started going with things that like you know what I like that I'm gonna test it out just see what it does because I picked up this knife for I'm thinking I paid $60 for this one. I think they go for around 100 now, but when I picked this up, I think I got a deal on it for like 60 bucks. And a lot of people don't know what the the trackers are actually even used for. Like when I got this to begin with, all my buddies like, "Oh man, I that design for the tops just for looks. No, that's for cutting grooves. It's not a saw. It's not meant to be a saw. It's not supposed to saw stuff in half. It's meant for cutting grooves. You know, for survival purposes. For like, uh, say you're making a survival bow. You have to cut your uh, your string grooves. That's for cutting the grooves. That's not for sawing things in half. That's not what it was meant for at all but it is functional and that's what they tell you with the tops Tom Brown tracker knives too that's what they do that's what it was intended for it's what it's made for that's cutting the grooves secondly <clears throat> with the design right here when you take these knives hold on a second You take this knife backwards like this which like I, I tell a lot of people it's never a good idea to cut towards yourself but that is part of this design it makes you small ignitable right now feathers like they're very very fine feathers that's the design that is what it is made for many of reasons why they designed this knife for the way that it is it ain't a bad design you just got to know the design and know the purposes of what it was made for that's as simple as that <coughs> but I have been very pleased with this knife 
Um, like I said, I've I've abused, <laughs> and I do mean abused, this knife. Like, if you can see the nick handle there, like I slid down a rock face with this <laughs> with this knife last when last year, the year before, lost my footing and went sideways down this rock face, and just beat the hell out of the handle of this knife against it. But that character, right? <laughs> It hasn't hurt the functionality of it, any, but yeah, damn good knife. I carry this one around with me every now and then. I got a lot of different knives. One of my favorites for a camping knife is perfect for opening a beer bottle. Anyway. <laughs> I got a lot of different knives and I try to switch them up. This one stays with my camping gear. Like it's always in one of my camping bags. So when I go camping, it's always in one of my camping bags. My Firestorm is normally on me or I know where it's, I don't even know how to put that into words. I don't keep it packed away, but I always know where it's at because it goes almost everywhere I go. So normally when I hit the woods, I have two or three different knives. There's one or two on me and one in a bag or two in a bag and one on me, but either way, I always have a couple different knives. And I, These knives here, you get them pretty cheap. I'm not gonna say cheap, cheap. It's not like a $20 knife, but it is. It is Damascus. You know, it ain't. It ain't. Um, what do they call that? Weld patterned or pattern welded or whatever. No, it's actually folded still. It is actual, like, Damascus. It's um, high carbon skiss still, and like, that one's some kind of alloy, or, so I can't, I can't remember, nickel. But all I know is, I beat the hell out of this knife. You can put it in there, crank the fucking shit out of it. And, well, excuse my language. I get to talk and I just talk like I talk to all my buddies. But you're not breaking these knives. That's one of the reasons I started making these videos because a lot of people out there like me, we don't get a whole lot of money. But we love the outdoors. We love knives. You know, we love a simple, simple life. But I got real tired of buying these these knives I seen for 40 50 bucks at like Walmart and stuff and I don't got them for a full season I need the handles done broke off of them I done snapped the tip off the blade I done bent the blade I done chipped the edges of shit you know it, I got tired of all that so when I started talking to my buddies and I got a couple of my buddies have made me knives and they've pointed me in the right direction of other people that make knives that make real good knives for cheap prices and I've tried them out and I've tested them and I've beat the hell out of them and I come to you with the reviews so <coughs> that way I mean if you want to take me on my word or not that's completely up to you guys but I doing this so you guys can you know see <laughs> see what they can do and anybody that knows me knows when I go out in the woods I I tend to be out there for a minute normally and I ain't I ain't taking it easy on my equipment. <laughs> a lot of times I go out, I don't take anything but my knife. That's that's it. But anyway, I'm gonna build a build a fire. Got all my wood already split up, sorted out, and I'm gonna cook dinner. of 
work here. bad things I can say about that, that knife and it throws a spark too I mean it'll it'll throw a decent spark but when I got this case and everything this new this new striker already came with a striker. The ferro rod came with a striker, so. Everything's been so wet here lately. This bark might not have been a good idea because it's, it's pretty wet. Those partial knives, when you buy them, Yeah, like I was saying, those partial knives, when you buy them, they don't come in a real good case. I do have an aftermarket case. So, I mean, I couldn't say a whole lot about the cases, but the knives themselves are good. <coughs> the case I got right now is actually from uh, CFK, which CFK makes real nice cases. That's where the uh, ferro rod came from, too. I just can't stay inside this whole quarantine thing and I'm not I'm not made for being in four walls but anyhow I'm gonna get this fire going get my stuff together probably build me a tripod so I can hang my kettle up I think I'm gonna do potato soup potato soup steaks some color greens sounds good as hell anyway partial knives cheap very functional well-built knives cases suck but if you get them for a good deal well worth the money I would say I'd leave a, a link so you guys could look at them but I do believe Amazon carries them like in all different all different styles this one I got because I wanted the closest to the Tom Brown tracker and it does have the notch notch cutter on the back that ain't a saw I stress that it is not a saw it's not meant for sawing wood it's meant for cutting notches that's the only purpose 
but yep that's it for that review i give it because the sheath i'll give it four out of five stars as for function functionality functionality whatever the fuck you want to call it sorry about the language again but as for the function of it and it being functionable i give it five out of five because it is a good knife and it does hold a decent edge you might depending on your preference this little double lay right here when I got this knife it wasn't sharp that was me that made it the way that it is because that's the way I like it especially when you're you're gutting an animal that thing comes in handy but yeah five out of five stars for the functionality of it and for the price you really can't beat it good still good handle and yeah y'all interested in them you have the money they they're they're worth it that's all i'm gonna say so <laughs> y'all have a good one and i'm gonna get my fat ass on the eat. <laughs>